Let's now explore this rotation question from the 2023 AMC 10. Line segment 1, 2, 3, 3 can be transformed to line segment 3, 1, and 4, 3 by a rotation. Find the center of the rotation. So the key thing about a rotation is, let's say we're rotating at about some point. The distances between the two points at the end must be the same, right? Because you're rotating it, the distance is not going to change. So, what does it mean if some point is equidistant from these two points? It has to lie on their perpendicular bisector. So, the rotated point has to lie on the perpendicular bisector of A, A prime. Why does that have to lie on the perpendicular bisector? Because only then, all the points on the perpendicular bisector have, are equidistant from A and A prime, which the rotation point has to be. Similarly, we have that it must lie on the perpendicular bisector of B, B prime. Oops, that is not the perpendicular bisector. So as you can see, the point must be somewhere around here. But in order to find it exactly, we just have to find the perpendicular bisectors of A, A prime and B, B prime, which is not very difficult. The first thing, find the slope from of A, A prime. The slope is just 2 minus 1 over 1 minus 3, which is 1 over negative 2, or negative 1 half. So the slope of the perpendicular line, therefore, must be 2. y equals 2x plus something. But keep in mind that it's your perpendicular bisector. So it has to pass through the midpoint of A, A1. The midpoint of A, A1, this point over here, we can just average the coordinates. 2, 1.5. So we just plug this in now. y equals 2 times 2 minus 2.5 in order to get 2.5 comma 1.5, where we're just substituting it back. So that's the equation of the first line. The second line is very simple as well. We have 3 minus 3 over 3 minus 4, which is just 0. <laughs> so the slope of, of this line that passes through bb prime is infinity, right? You can see here it's, it's going constantly going up. Or really what, what that's saying is b, this is just a vertical line, i.e. it's going to be of the form x equals something. So specifically, the, this point over here, bb prime, the midpoint is 3.5 comma 4. So because the x along this line, the x coordinate is fixed, it's just going to be x equals 3.5, this line. So now we have our two lines, and we just need to solve in order to find our intersection point. And that's pretty simple. You know, we just plug it in. We plug in 3.5 all the way over there into this equation. We get y equals 2 times 3.5, which is 7, minus 2.5, so 4.5. Our coordinate difference is just 1. A simple problem where the key idea is realizing that when you rotate when, about a center, that center is equidistant from these points, so it has to lie on this perpendicular bisector. Similarly, it has to lie on this perpendicular bisector. And so therefore, you just find the intersection of them, because it has to lie on both of the perpendicular bisectors. Thanks for watching.